So hi and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you um, me basically doing an exterior kind of deep clean on this Mercedes van. So as you can see by the photos, it was incredibly neglected. It hadn't been cleaned in a very, very long time. As you can sort of tell, particularly by the wheels, but just the whole paint um, was just covered in traffic film. Um, there's a bit of dirt on the lower skirting, but generally just the paint was just completely covered in grime. It was really kind of a bit of a challenge to tackle this one um, and I only had probably just less than an hour and a half to work on it. It takes a while to kind of tackle stuff like this especially when you're sort of moving the camera around and stuff like that but I was pretty happy with the results as you'll probably see around 10 minutes um, but basically obviously just starting really by power washing the car down and doing a pre-wash so nothing particularly new here I was using built Hamber Auto Foam at around 5% panel impact ratio which is as high as you can kind of go with this product uh, but it really needed it on this just to handle the amount of traffic film on the car so it wasn't too warm of a day so I did manage to give it a decent dwell time without the risk of drying so I gave it around sort of five minutes on the surface before I actually went and power washed that down you can't properly see this here but as I was actually rinsing it off the snow foam coming off it was basically grey uh, which I hadn't really experienced before but it, it just really showed the amount of kind of filth on this car and just the amount of actual traffic film just built up and, and just really needed to kind of come off so I was pretty happy with how the pre-wash went but the car was definitely filthy um, still regardless but the next thing was the wheels so I went ahead and just put some built hamber Corosol on that I know it's not a dedicated wheel cleaner but it does do a pretty good job on these and you can kind of see by the amount of amount of purple on this so then I carried it on with using built hamber surface HD around 10% and just scrubbed that in with the tyres and a stiff brush when the kind of iron reaction was just going on so then once I'd actually gone in and cleaned the tyres I rinsed everything down and basically then had to effectively go in again and clean the tyres properly using kind of more contact. But I did use built hamber again to actually tackle the rest but as you can see done a pretty good job here actually at removing quite a bit of that particularly when you power wash it down you can see that a lot of it's gone um, and it's looking a lot better condition from now so then after that I just gave it another spritz and then worked in with a microfiber wash mitt so I just use these cheap microfiber wash mitts they're really quite inexpensive I use yellow ones on the wheels and green ones on the paint and it does a good job so I just tried to get off as much as possible with that um, before going in with a brush and I also just used a Valet Pro brush for this and um, reasonably reasonably stiff but still quite gentle just to get into the lug nuts and into some of the some of the corners of the alloy basically that I couldn't really reach with the wash mitt as much I was actually pretty happy with the results at this point the wheels the transformation on the wheels were just massive I think that was the sort of biggest biggest issue with this um, but Built Hamber Corosol is just a great product um, and particularly when I'm using Surfex HD on the tyres and things like that it just works really well so I did use a bit of Surfex HD and a bit of Car Chem Shampoo just on the wheels to tackle that then I went ahead and just power washed everything down so you can see that they've scrubbed up pretty nicely here so next I went in and washed the paint so I was actually just using Car Chem Super Suds for this um, which was a bit of a mistake it, it's still a very capable shampoo and it does have good cleaning power and I've, I've done a review on this and I do really like it but I should have used um, Garage Therapy Decon definitely as I was doing it I sort of realised I've made a mistake and probably should have used that it would have been a little bit easier but to be fair considering Built Hamber sort of softened the dirt a little bit and the traffic film it, it came off easily but I just think that Decon shampoo would probably have been the better option to pick out for this um, regardless of it, it turned out reasonably well I then went in with um, another Valet Pro brush and just went ahead and got some of the badges at the back and at the front as well. Um, there's a lot of sort of built up grime in here, even though the car had been cleaned maybe, yeah. I don't know, a year ago. Um, I don't think the badges have ever been really tackled properly, so there's a lot of kind of ingrained dirt in those, um, particularly on the front as well. I just wanted to bring that up quite nice, because uh, it is quite a nice van. So I definitely wanted to pay a little bit of attention to the details on this one, just to make sure that I was getting an overall quite good finish and not really missing missing bits out. So then went ahead and just power washed everything off. And you can see here a little bit that the the stuff coming off it was not white anymore. It was not white foam. It was it was murky kind of dirty sort of foam that was coming off it. So it, it was a huge transformation. You can actually tell the colour of the car now was silver and not grey um, as it kind of looked at the start so I was pretty happy with that transformation. 
Then I went ahead and just dried off the paintwork using a microfiber towel. So normally I would use a sort of dabbing technique, but just because of the amount of surface water, because there was no protection on this van whatsoever, it just I had to just wipe it. So it's a clean microfiber and the paintwork's clean, so it's not it's not really risky. Um, I did just use a damp one, just to kind of help. It really sort of helps pick up more water if the microfiber's damp, which just doesn't really sound like it would make sense, but it really does. So I just went ahead and wiped that down. I was pretty happy with that. So then I just went ahead and cleaned the glass. So I was using some Bouncers products from this. So thanks very much to Jay who actually sent these products over to me um, from Bouncers Wax to, to kind of try out on the channel. So this is the glass cleaner called Look Sharp. Did a good job. It's a pretty standard glass cleaner. It doesn't offer anything in terms of kind of water repellent protection that it applies, but it does a good job in terms of actually um, cleaning and not leaving streaks. So then I actually went ahead and followed that up with some paint protection. So for this, I was using Bouncers Done and Dusted. So this is a quick detailer, um, but it does say on the bottle as well that you can use it as a standalone product and it's really quick to apply. So I thought it'd be a good one to kind of bring out, particularly for this van. So all you actually do is kind of spritz it on the panel and it very, very quickly hazes um, just in a couple of seconds. So you can just flip the microfiber and just buff it off. So you can sort of work a panel at a time and that find that that's probably the, the best way to do this. You're not leaving it on too long, but again, there's no issues with this. Easy to actually take off, um, easy to put on and spread, and it leaves a pretty nice finish. So I was happy with kind of how that turned out. I think that the gloss levels were really, really nice on this. Um, and it really helped kind of help the silver paint work, sort of add a little bit, a little bit of shine to it. And um, definitely a lot better than how we started. So then another product that was kindly sent over to me um, by Gavin at GB Detailing, um, so thanks very much Gavin for sending this. So this is um, the trim and tire gel that they have. I'm um, sorry, not gel, it's a spray. Um, so as it being a spray, a spray, you've got to tend to use a little bit more than you probably would with a gel. Um, but I did really like the finish that this left on the tires. It doesn't leave a sort of really sticky, kind of shiny finish. It just, it's kind of restores a sort of new look to the tires, which I really like, because it just, it doesn't look fake. Um, and it just sort of restores them rather than kind of adding adding just gloss and grease which i don't particularly like on the tires i think it did a good finish on some of the trim as well i used it on so here's sort of the finished results I was really happy with this and um, the owner's really happy with it as well it was quite a big transformation particularly as you can see on the wheels but generally i um, really happy with the products i used it's over at bouncers wax and also gb detailing so thanks very much for sending me those products i thought it'd be a good kind of car to to demonstrate them on but if you have enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to give it a like. Comment down below if you've got any questions about the process or the products. And subscribe for weekly detailing videos like vehicle transformations, tips and tricks, and also products reviews. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.